Hello and welcome again to another video basic fishing. As you can see, I am at the boat show. How exciting is that? I realize I forgot to change my setting to um, normal view. But yeah, I'll be showing you everybody on what I see today and hopefully, well, you'll see some cool stuff around here. A little quiet at the moment. That's pretty cool. So yeah, hope you all enjoy. <laughs> well, check this out. That is a familiar view. Fishing and adventures. Man, look at this artwork. Whoever is designing this is obviously doing a great job. Oh dear, that's a scratch. Oh, I hate seeing scratches on a boat. Still, that's a pretty cool design. Check this thing out, it's like a tank. Look at that design. Man. The design of this thing is pretty sick. And the artwork too. Oh my god, Nikki! How are you? You look wonderful! No, thank you! <laughs> Fish less this year just because of wind speed. It's not so pretty. No, but it'll change. Oh. I turned the simulator off when I saw you coming. You're not gonna let this go, are you? Not ever. Oh god. How many years has it been? Well, I thought there was like some sort of force field, like a mixture. Yeah, you <laughs> said. Yeah, I, I, I just saw him and I was, um, before it could come in, I just. Off. Off at the wall, full of keys. You're not gonna let this go, are you? Everybody. <laughs> <run>! <laughs> Very funny, Grant. You're such, you know what? If you ever retire from a sales rep, you should be a comedian. <laughs> I thought he. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Isn't that tempting? Oh god, I hated those bloody claws, they were so rigged. Alright, well I am entering into my favorite area, the fishing area. Let's go and check that out. Fishing and adventures. <laughs> Hello! Davo! You're so tall you stand out, you know that? Oh, oh hi! What's up, Dave? Can you go me on Yeah. What's up? You know what? Where is he? Hey! Oh! One gig. One gig. Alright. Give me a hint. Not here. At all. Do you have an arrive? No, he's not here. Think about it. What could what could possibly stop someone from coming in? Yeah. No sunglasses? <laughs> no sunglasses. Alright. Why you got a mask on? Safety. Therefore. Oh he's sick! Oh no! Oh, don't tell me this is your don't tell me you gave him one as a consequence. No, no, no he's given me the consequence. I did a boat check on myself. Oh. Yeah, no, his wife got COVID two days, three days ago. No, he's got it. Hey, Meg, if you're watching this, <laughs> we miss ya. <you. laughs> we miss you, Meg. <laughs> nah, it's all good there, so I'm on my own, mate. Oh. I'll give this back to you. Oh. Thank you. I've got the crew here. I've got Darby here, obviously. Yeah, He's and um, um, we've got Kyla and Sue. And Sue. Sue. And Kyla, wherever she was. It's my Kyla. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is, he, is she your missus? No, 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 she's a, uh, another worker. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, that's okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, speaking of missus, yeah. congrats on Thanks, Billy. Mate. Yeah, thank you. How yeah. old is she now? She's six months. Yeah. Man. Going, going quick. Look at, look at you. You got uh, gray hair yeah. already. Yeah. And that's from doing boat shows. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't don't you mean me giving you the stress instead of yeah, him? Yeah, probably me giving me stress. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he, he's um he would be here obviously if he didn't have COVID. He'd, he'd, he's pretty disappointed he's not here. Uh, ah, yeah, that's what happens. Well, send him my love. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. How are you getting on? All good? Yeah, trying to get there. Fishing's been hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember this. 
familiar design. Oh, and oh, look at that. That's a new surf casting reel. Oh, that's a new one. Calvin! That's a cool new. Oh, I'll let, I'll let you talk with him first. It's new Altegra XSE. How good is this? Uh, very cool, man. Very cool. So, same sort of drag specs, like 20 kilos drag. Um, but infinity drive gearing, Hagani gears, all, all, all the stuff that you can expect from a high-end Shimano reel at half price, man. So that's basically a Sarah goes in a Shimano, but um, surf casting mode. Almost, yeah, almost. Hey, on this on my South African setup, this will be really cool. <laughs> it would be. They're pretty grunty, man. And the color scheme is almost like a Sarah goes too. Yeah. Hey, look at the Look at me, Jordy. Check out her Instagram. She got so much awesome stuff. That's the prize for this boat this year. I mean, look at that artwork. Man, I would hate it if that gets any scratches at all. But geez, look at that. Coloration on this thing is so sick. <laughs> and the art too. Look at that. Man, look at that. This artwork is amazing. <laughs> the boat show grand prize right there. Man, look at this. <laughs> this thing's a beast. Oh, that was great. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so look at that, my first ever proper white bait fritter. <laughs> it's funny because it's just eggs and white bait. <laughs> I know there are a lot of people out there who have a lot of controversy on people catching white bait and stuff, but you know, I never tried proper white bait fritter like this before, so for me this is an experience I want to try. Let's give it a taste. Mm. You know, it's good. I mean, I can taste a little bit of the fish element. It's not that strong. Unfortunately, the cheese and the egg is overpowering it. But I'm not complaining. I actually really enjoy this. So this is something I never had much before, but when the sign says more pork in the American barbecue style, you know you gotta give it a try. Uh, pork belly. That looks so good. <laughs> that surely is Texas style, isn't it? Yeah, bro. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks for the shot. No worries. Ah. Uh, Are those ribs? Yeah, bro. Man, look how tender that is. Look at that. <laughs> Check that out. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, I really look forward to trying this bad boy out. Bit of smoked pork, pulled pork, ribs, and coleslaw. Man, all this stuff looks so good. How did I not try this out last year for crying out loud? these these ladders I actually had this at work before they are so good and so reliable unfortunately it was the manager so he did not keep it in the shop but check that out that is so cool so here's the wetties and these are such a popular brand oh my god I am a uh... Good to see you again. Yeah, you Long time no see. <laughs> you don't mind it being in a video? <laughs> oh my, Jackson! <laughs> I've been a guy. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Jackson likes being in the videos too. Yeah, he is such a cameraman. I'm talking to Darren, my father. He's uh, got COVID. Oh, so he can't so, come. Sorry to hear it, Dad. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> wow. Why, he's kicking your ass as a boss? <laughs> Like always. Uh, what are you up to? Oh, uh, just still making lots of videos. Trying to. Oh, are you an exhibitor? Yeah, I, I am. I started. I'm working at Bowser for the next two days. Nice. Well, yeah, sure. Yeah, here. Stand. Oh, all right. 
Yeah, so they're my sponsor. All oh, right. So they asked me to help out, and here I am. Oh yeah, wait, let me do this. <laughs> Look at this, my two buddies from Freddy's. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I accidentally humiliated Jackson so badly, <laughs> and I complimented Gemma in an unexpected way. <laughs> And I showed them a few of my videos and they were bursting out loud laughing. And Fred. And Fred. Yeah. yeah. Oh, gee. So many stuff I recognize. The fishing and adventure crew over there. Hunting and fishing. No cross as well. But perhaps one of my most favorite things that I see off the boat show would be. <clears throat> these seminars these seminars are so helpful so insightful and these guys offering so many good information over here and right now there's Paul Senior talking about squidding Ooh, look at that all the flesh stuff that are available and up for grabs So many ranges. Hi, good to see you again. <laughs> yeah, another surfcaster. Pretend. Surfcasting, west is best, always go west. Yeah, me too. Yep, uh, we'll do it together. West, west is best. West is best. <laughs> I, I know it's been a while, but how, how is your surfcasting stuff? I haven't seen much of your stuff yeah, lately. Yeah, no, I haven't. I, I, to be honest, the last couple of months I haven't been surf casting as much. I've been just a bit busy. Oh yeah. Uh, just because I, I live in Tower now. Oh okay. And I've been going and I haven't been up to Northland where I go a lot. Oh yes. Um, the magical spots. Yeah the best spot out of Dagon there down to the Kuiper. The fuel is a nightmare but it's worth it. It is. It's worth it. Yeah. yeah. So and, and kind of hunting started. I do a bit of hunting. Oh okay. So duck shooting started. I've been doing a bit of that you know. But I'll, it, get, I'll get back into the surf casting probably more uh, so in spring. Okay. The bigger fish come in in spring. Right? Maybe we should do a surf casting trip together. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll talk to Daniel from the you know. Ah, uh, yep. Daniel yeah. advertises from Bolsa. Yeah. And he I, uses gear. You then, actually use some of his gears too, from yeah. what I remember. So we should get a, we should get him up and show him do a surf casting trip up there. Yeah. Yeah, of course. But the big kingfish. Yeah. Yes, was, I am so jealous. That was amazing fight. We thought it was a we thought it was a stingray. And uh, we cast together in a bit of a gut, and um, using the that's the the tika ah oh, yeah tika uh, kazumi galant. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice fish. Yeah, I mean, I've been trying to get a kingfish so hard this year, and yeah. it's been very difficult. Yeah. I he, have been he's live baiting. Two. He's caught two on the surfcaster so far this year. No, not just in the last couple of years. Oh really? Yeah. So, so that, it that, is tough. Like in my yeah. defense, it is tough. Oh yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's mm. just tough. Oh yeah, for those who are interested. Matt Hughes has got these impact shields, sinkers, sinkers. impact sinkers, yeah, yeah. which have I plan to get. Have a little hook on the side and the yeah. ring hook in, keeps it nice and tight, doesn't spiral when you cast, hits yeah. the water, falls off. Yeah, what I use is a dingle dangle. Oh yeah. Do you know what that is? I have seen it, yeah. It is so appropriate with these. Yeah. And are they all five ounces? Those are fours, of, out of fives, I've got, you know, everyone's been bought. I think the drone guys buy them too, for drone fishing. Ah, yes. Yeah, but, uh, but yeah it makes sense because they have a release clip so yeah. they can attach it without any extra um, compositions. Oh. oh, yeah, I was here. Oh. And look at that, here's my sponsor, <laughs> Daniel. How's it going? So it's been a year since I met you. I know. Uh, yeah. What a year it has been, eh? Yeah. I mean, I've done a lot of videos of your gears yeah. and I've been really enjoying using the pier rod. Yeah. Uh, is that the pier rod? Uh, that's actually a, it's a chicken rod. Ah, what's it's, a pier rod? It's similar. I don't have the pier rod here. Ah, okay. I have only the surf rod here. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I can say to the viewers who are curious, go, go to bowser.com, use my code, it's in my YouTube description, but if you're around a boat show, well, I don't know, by the time, <laughs> by the time you watch this boat show, it could be over, but, but, but if you um, subscribe, uh, follow Bowser on Instagram or follow him on Facebook. He will always give out like um, offers and specials and all of that stuff. So you will always be well well informed. And also you'll also see on my YouTube channel that I also have a 15% uh, code for any first purchase you made. So for those who don't know Bowser, Daniel, could you 
be kind enough to explain to my viewers? Yeah, so Balza is a, a German brand. It's uh, the biggest one in Europe and Germany. It's been around since 1949. Pretty much after the war, that's when they start creating the fishing rods and yeah, getting them in. And yeah, I grew up in Germany using Balza fishing equipment. I moved to New Zealand, started fishing again, couldn't find the gear anywhere. Had really fond memories of it. So I called Balza in Germany and asked them if I can buy it here. They said I can't and then they said, oh look, I've got an idea for you guys. And since then I'm starting bringing it to the country. Yeah. <laughs> and now... I never thought I would be using any of this gear, but I've been really enjoying it. Caught a lot of good fish, particularly uh, with this surf caster. I mean, most people would know that I've been using that a lot, and I got lots of other videos incoming, so make sure to check that out. So, um, show us some of the most unique gear that you have here. Well, uh, people seem to be really enjoying those inland rods. They have no eyes, as you can see. Yeah. So the line goes through the core of the rod. It's eye opening. It is eye opening, yeah. And comes out at the top. And it's really good for boat fishing because you don't yeah. have any eyes, you don't get caught up anywhere, no line tangles or nothing. Yeah. It's just... Yeah. Look at this. This is one of my most favorite reels. <sighs> can you hold this? Yeah. So this is my most favorite reel. The reason is that even though it's specifically made for boat, I mean, look at that. That's like one thing I actually was really worried when I first used it on surf casting was that when I cast it, it was close by itself. But I had no problem. It actually flew out really well. But it, even though the reel is small, it has 15 kilos of drag capacity. I mean, can you imagine that? Apart from the expensive Shimano reels you get. I mean, like look at that. 15 kilos of drag. That's plenty of fighting power. And also it has a ball handle too, so that's really really good. And Look at that, fast speed retrieval. Meaning that you can use this for not just jigging, but also like stick baiting as well. Light, um, or on a light rod too, because most of the stick baits you see are very, really small. So this would be very good to use on it. And it's also, I'm really keen on trying it out for surf casting. So especially on sharks, because I like to see how strong it is. And, and I've also seen a post of Matthew Hewison from Fishing and Gods now. He's had a good success on this on um, slow pitch jigging for snapper as well. So it goes to show that this reel worth getting if you're interested. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if there's some really famous, but I met them at um, the South African uh, group. Hey, how's it going, guys? Yeah. Here is Nicholas Robson. Yeah. He is a pro angler. He actually fished with Zulu fishing. Yeah, yeah. We fished uh, back in South Africa. We fished for the junior South African uh, shore angling side for oh. three years. You were in the junior team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually captained the side. Yeah. <laughs> Mad respect. Yeah, thank you. And check out his Instagram. He actually caught crazy good fish Thanks. from giant rag tooth sharks, um, guitar fish, which is my bucket list fish. And recently he also caught big snappers and stingrays on uh, 25,000 reel, which is absolutely crazy. 2,500, sorry. 2,500, yeah, yeah, 10 pound braid. Oh, seven God. Foot yeah, and if um, if I'm lucky, he'll be in the video fishing together. Definitely. Next, next Maybe Ethan will join us too. Um, so I'm here at Tyndall Marines and here is uh, Scott Tyndall. <laughs> He's providing me some tags because I enjoy you tag so fishing. Thanks, Scott. And yeah, by tagging fish, I hope this encourages many anglers out there to um, not kill sharks because too many jerks killing sharks these days, right? Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I mean... I've already caught a, I've already tagged a lot of good fish from a baby bronzy to a hammerhead shark and lots of school sharks. I'm, I re sent all the yeah, reports to you. Did you get all of those? I'm not sure. Sue's the one that yeah. doesn't. Oh, okay. Them, she's doing it. And funny enough, majority of the tags were the uh, smooth hounds, which people eat, ironically speaking. So oh, yeah. I hope they survived. <laughs> Very popular on the inshore. So they're. Yeah. Different species move. So yeah, I mean, I had tried taking school sharks, but they're so delicate, especially the pups. They can be. Um, and the big ones, so rough. You turn them upside down and they'll put them into a tonic state. I was told not to do that. <laughs> yeah, okay, but okay. It's easy to get the hooks out too because then they're not struggling. So yeah. Hold on to them too I got tail whipped by the shark so many times, it's not even funny. <laughs> Poor Michael Jenkins got a lovely female, mature female. Gave him a kiss across the face with the tail. Oh my god! 
<laughs> That's gonna hurt. It would have been. It would have been about a 15 kilo shark that we were putting a satellite tag in. Oh, and look at that. Is, it doesn't want to be tagged. Oh, yeah, and I got your joke on April Fool's Day. That was a very good joke. Yeah, it's definitely, it definitely was not pointless. <laughs> but yeah, that's how you tag a regular fish. A rubber fish. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and for those who are interested in tagging, just make sure to come contact Tendo Marines Research Charity Trust. And, um,. If you also catch a tagged fish, if you want to keep it, that's all good. But make sure to measure it and report it back and you'll get a certificate. as recognition and contribution of the um, tagging um, society here. I'm going to give you all the information. There you go, there's your recognition. Who's Greg Gilbert? Oh, Greg Gilbert, the South, South Island... Um, South Island. Yeah. Look, you got a rig, that's one of the fish I've been targeting and gee, that's a big fish. The biggest one I've tagged and reported so far is 97 centimeters. Yeah. Mm. That one there went 1039 kilometers. Oh my god, miles. that's very impressive. That's a long way around the South Island. So Scott here has a special request for me. Peter, if you'd like to put some of these recapture stickers around, yep. we have a Q code here to scan, if yep. you scan that. You'll be able to report directly to the trust website. You'll take fish. Otherwise, just go straight to the website. Yep, I'll do that. You can read all about all tag fish throughout the whole country every quarter. So summer, winter, autumn, and spring reports are on our website newsletter page. And I got more tags, and hopefully I get more fish. Oh, you will. If I remember my um, ID code, that is. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, so that's, that's it for me. I'm. So tired, I'm pretty sure Scott's tired too, aren't you? I'm fairly tired, yeah, I've got two days to go though, so you know, I've got to try and uh, keep my energy levels up. Yeah, so I guess we'll call it a night and... Well, hey, can you tell us about your new show? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, so we've... Uh, we have hardly done any videos of you today. No, that's okay, mate, we've got, uh, yes, so we're in the middle of filming season 10. We've got uh, 9 out of our 13 episodes already filmed, so uh, good head start then. Awesome trips, we've got Fjordland, the wider upper coast, Pasia, far north. Raglan, oh my Coromandel, God. so yeah, it's definitely a, a big season of big fish, so uh, hopefully you guys can get to watch it and, uh, as we say, some epic content. Yeah, and I look forward to the new show as well. I Thanks, mean, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. if everyone has missed out last year's season, make sure to check it out on On Demand, but if it expires, you'll upload it on YouTube. That's right, so we've got seasons 1 to 5 on YouTube, season 6 we're going to drop on YouTube soon, and then season 7 to 10 will be on TVNZ On Demand or Channel 1, 4.30 Sundays come August. So, yeah. Yeah, I hope everyone has enjoyed watching my perspective of the boat show. And yeah, hope, hope you all have a good day and hope you all also enjoy my future fishing content. See you all next time. Subscribe, basic fishing. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. You want to go dance off? Mm. You know what, that's good enough.